Okay, just put this monitor. It's a repack version, so the box is a bit beat up. As you can see, it's a beat up and dirty box. Very dirty box. Holes here. Anyway, where's the where's the front? I think there's the front. Let's bring the let's bring the scissors or something. Just the scissors. So what's inside, people? Warranty card. This is the model 32MA68. So this one has the display port and the 58 doesn't have the display port. So this will be better. It is better. Need display port. Cable. It's power cable. Okay, let's put it aside. Power brick. Open the power brick. Okay, the sticker in the power brick. Okay. HDMI. Is this the HDMI cable? Yes, it is. It is HDMI cable. Part of stand. So, okay. But I don't I will not open this yet because because I want to see the monitor so is it all right Ooh, it is huge can you see it how huge this is looking good Okay, so that's my bed, so it's soft, very soft, it won't damage the screen. The monitor is brand new, it's just repack. I think it's a brand new monitor. It was pretty cheap, I must say. It's not an expensive monitor. One of the cheapest monitors I ever have. Come on. Okay. Now what we need to do is mount the the stand. So of course I don't use the wall I uh, don't use the manual. We just need to find out where's the how do I open this? I think I need to cut this. There's no other way to open it, so let's uh, just cut it. Because I don't see the other way to do it. Oh, very easy. With my hand. Okay, so there's the stand. Okay. Now the other part.
this I think this is for I don't know what this is for anyway this part goes here definitely let's just let's screw this in okay okay now I understand so let's put it here clicking sound and now can you see it you put it down here and now I'm going to put this closer and to screw this in with a with a screwdriver screwdriver screw this in because I need to be gentle okay that's enough and now all I need to do is uh, this is for holding cables okay we don't use this now maybe later now you need to flip the monitor and put it on side by side by different monitor so there's not much space here <laughs> I'm a little crowded here but let's take the foil ta -da! Ooh, electrical <whistles> very reflecting comparing to the Samsung no reflections Super reflections, no reflections, super reflection, and I'm watching the case in Einstein. This is the USB hub, DC in, USB 2.0, HDMI, display port, that's what I need, headphones, and this app, which I will definitely not use. Where's the joystick here? The joystick is So this is the uh, pause in uh, Costa Rica 4K 60fps video from YouTube because I fortunately I cannot play the, this video because I will get struck with a copyright. This is uh, 27D 59.0 Samsung which is a gaming monitor VA panel. And this is matte finish, this is reflection. You can see a little reflection right there, and nothing here, and a bit here, also with this hand. Yeah, reflection. But I think the colors and uh, and whole the whole thing is better in this one, IPS one. What do you think? The settings are basically the same. Hmm. I don't know. Let me test it further. Oh yeah, now we can see it and on the snake. Look how vi vivid this is. How snake? How how the colors look on the snake here and on the VA panel. This one is horrible. This on this Samsung. Uh, VA panel is horrible. The colors are so dim. So I don't know. I don't like it. Look at the green and look at the green here. Look at the snake. The snake. The LG is way better. Maybe now you can see it. The reflection and the math screen. You can see the. There's a reflection here, you can see the reflection just a little bit, but the colors are way better. That's why I bought this monitor. So this is my footage. Uh, on the right one, on the left one, there's a matte finish Samsung, and on the right one, this LG.
and the energy looks way better it's a bit brighter this matte finish uh, you can see the reflection here you see you can see the reflection right there but the colors are way better what do you think that's the VA panel IPS panel 27 32 51 and a half okay the only downside is this reflection but we are now in a very uh, sunny room I will close the curtains and I will test it so now the curtains are closed and you cannot definitely you definitely cannot see the reflection right now on this monitor nothing I think this one is oversaturated and it's looking pretty bad. And this one looks way more like real, real life. Look, look how oversaturated this is. And now, now it's the camera. This one is way better. And the settings are... I tried the best to do, to do with the setting. I know this Samsung monitor is hopeless. It's very bad. It's a gaming monitor. VA panel. Look how dark this is. I know the VA panels are darker. It has better blacks, as you can see, than the um, IPS. A lot of red in this video. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the different video because of the copyright thing. So it is what it is. I kind of like this new monitor. And it's then the, the Samsung is twice, um, almost twice, the expensive than the L, than the L, LG right now. It's a full HD monitors. They are not 4K, so. What do you think? I prefer the blacks of the VA, but the colors are better in the, in the IPS. So <laughs> it's a tough choice. And the reflecting uh, screen is way better right now. I can see more. I can see more details right there on him, on the skin, than in this one. I don't know if you're able to see it. Anyway, okay, so let's see. Oh, sorry. So let's see the menu in this monitor. We have uh, inputs. I connect this through uh, reflections for HDMI. This is the HDMI in input and through the display port. And this is the display port input. This monitor off is on the right, right there. Picture mode. So you can change the, this is a render 2, render 1, custom, photo, cinema, it's oversaturated, color, weakness, it's completely way off, and game mode. I, I don't like it. I like the photo or custom. Those are the custom. So let's get to the menu. And now we have, can you see it? Now we have brightness on 60, contrast on 100, volume on 60 because this uh, monitor has a built-in speaker. Ratio is wide, smart energy is low. Put it on high, put it on off. 
I don't want energy saving right now. Picture. You can see. A picture adjust. You have super resolution on off. Let's hit high. It's getting more sharper when you're going on high. Let's turn it off. This is the sharpness. Black level. But black level doesn't work on the display port because we're on the display port right now. Respawn time, DSC, and black stabilizer. Color adjustment. Gamma. Off one. I like the number two. Color temperatures. Cool, medium, warm, custom. Six colors. So, like you can see, a lot of settings right now. And reset. Display doesn't show up in the, when you connect it via display port. Language, we have a lot of languages, a lot of them, let's leave it in English, power led off and on, automatic standby, let's hit it for hours, and OSD lock, and off, and resolution is off, what else we have here? Reset and cancel. Auto configuration doesn't show up right now. What if we go to the HDMI? Now we are via HDMI. Let's again go to the menu. Ratio still doesn't show up. This place still doesn't show up. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Resolution doesn't show up, and auto configuration still doesn't show up. So I don't know why. That is beyond me. Any different settings here? Mm, press long monitor off. Okay. Inputs. I thought this monitor has a split screen, but I don't think so. Cinema is pretty good. No split screen. Picture just. And all this thing is turned off. Maybe if we go to the custom. Now we can change it. Color adjustment. But the display is still. It can be choose auto configuration. I don't know what this is. Anyway, okay. Now the audio. Let's uh, first the uh, Samsung. Where's the Samsung? There. Is. That's the Samsung. And now the LG. And the LG doesn't work. I don't know why. The volume is up all the way. I don't know. Is this broken or. Wait, wait, wait. No, not, not, not this. Look, the volume is all to 100%. Nothing. Dead. Mute. So, maybe I, I will figure it out later, but it doesn't work. But I'm not really a fan of those built-in speakers. They're pretty horrible speakers. Okay, so now let's test the Far Cry. I will use the keyboard to play. Maybe it's a little bit like this. I think the... 
and this is the gaming monitor this one on the left and on the right normal monitor not gaming monitor I don't see a huge difference I put the response time and high tearing or something like that oh, basically the same I don't see any differences what do you think this one's a bit brighter no differences let's write a little bit shadows and everything are basically the same Let's go to this bridge right here. I don't know why the audio is off, but it is what it is. It's getting brighter and brighter right now. It's getting in the morning. Water drop ups. Okay, let's leave the vehicle. Hmm. I think this one's way too dark. Some people here. Anyway, the gaming on this monitor is pretty good. I like it. Definitely not uh, G Sync monitor. The G Sync monitors are pretty good. It holds the colors and everything. It's pretty nice. Let's see, let's go to the valley here with the lake. There's the lake. Way too dark on this one. I don't know. This one looks pretty good. Okay. There's one more thing. This is not a standard VESA 100. This is a 200 VESA. So if you have 100 VESA mounting on the wall, it will not fit. You need the 200 VESA for this one. Look, nothing here, everything here. But I definitely recommend this product. The colors are magnificent. Look at the best TV right now, the OLED TVs and the flagship TVs. They all they all like this. They all are they all are reflecting because they want the best colors. And if you if you want best colors, you need to have reflecting uh, screen. You cannot do it with the uh, with the matte finish. And there it is. Thanks for watching.